Hey, good morning, Bobby here with Trout Boss. Down here at another fabulous driftless area put in location. Getting ready to do some trout fishing today. Today is Saturday, June 23rd. Beautiful day, a little cloudy. It's a good thing. It's about 76 degrees. All right, right now. product review. Got some new boots to try out today. Got a fantastic pair of corkers here. It's a nice, uh, what do they call it? Their ambush series. Beautiful camouflage boot. As you can tell, I'm big on the stealth game. I love the camouflage stuff. Um, nice thing about these boots, they have this peelable, terrible bottom. Not terrible, removable bottom. Uh, boots came with the, the rubber soles. The kit also came with some felt soles. It's a wonderful option to have, especially if you're uh, you know, continually fishing in different types of streams. Uh, nice, nice drawstring operation here on the, on the uh, laces. So as far as switching out the bases, all you simply do is peel this tab back I won't actually do it now, but that allows you to disengage this whole bottom sole. You can replace it with the felt ones that come in the kit if you're on more of a freestone type waterway. All right, back here with these Corker Ambush Series boots. The other key thing I forgot to mention earlier that is so important that I think so many wading boot manufacturing companies forget about is weight. And the beautiful thing about these boots right here total combined weight of the pair I believe is like 2.8 or 2.9 pounds and that's even with the larger size 13 boot you know I can't stress enough how much weight can play a factor like I mentioned earlier you know I'm hiking around eight to nine hundred miles a year in the water and uh, quite frankly weight ends up being a huge factor I'm constantly looking for lightweight products and uh, you know this one for the money and for the weight Wow, you can't go wrong. So I, that's that was one of the main drivers when I found these. I was looking at the weight description. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, a pair for, they're under, like I said, under, I think it's just a little over two pounds. So it must be like 1.4 ounces per boot. That's really not bad at all. Especially, I mean, this is solid construction, you know, it's gonna give a lot of support when you're rubbing up on the rocks and whatnot. And, uh, but just super light. So anyways, that was my last tip as far as when you're looking for product to try out, keep that weight in mind. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of manufacturers out there that have great boots, you know, but you look at the weight and they're like three or four pounds. I mean, my God, that's like having a, a gym weight strapped on, on your foot, you know? Who wants that when you're hiking around for long distances? So keep that in mind big time. Go with lightweight boots. You won't regret it. I mean, eight to nine hundred miles a year? That's like hiking from Minneapolis to Denver, or maybe Minneapolis to like Rapid City, South Dakota, and part of the way back. So if you're fishing a lot and putting a lot of miles on your boots and on your feet, man, look for lightweight products that are durable, high quality, and affordable. Peace out. I typically wear a size 10 and a half. Uh, on these particular boots, I actually upped it to 13. I do a lot of cold water fishing, so, you know, at times I can have wool socks on, plus my wader socks. Um, and I, I found, you know, if I go with like a 12, it just sometimes it gets too tight. So I think in, in, at the end, you know, you're, you're better off being a little bit bigger on your boot size versus small. Because the last thing you want to do is have that, you know, those boots be a little too tight on your feet. And uh, next thing you know, you're halfway through your day and your feet are just getting uncomfortable. So my tip for that, as far as sizing is concerned, you know, like I said, typically wear a 10 and a half. I went up to 13, that's two and a half sizes larger than I would normally wear. But uh, I tried them on briefly and they fit awesome. So again, love the look, the quality of these things look pretty good. Um, I typically, believe it or not, hike about 800 to 1,000 miles a year fishing. So, you know, I go through boots pretty quick. I go through waders quick. And uh, gotta love the price on these things too. They weren't too bad. I don't know, 150 bucks or something like that. And uh, you know, support the stealth game that I usually kind of try to roll by. Anyways, I'm gonna finish gearing up, put these things on, get them a little dirty, see what they're all about. Peace out.